Hello everybody, Genesis King here, and welcome back to our Stellaris Aquatic Species back in the 3.2 update. Let's play. So, picking up where we left off at the end of the last episode, I asked you guys, should we go ahead and colonize this 60% habitable world up here, even though we are going to have all of those negative modifiers for amenities, pop-up, keep resources, pop growth, etc. And it was a mixed bag in the comments. Some were saying go for it, some were saying don't. And I do also want to point one other thing out, something I overlooked when we started this Let's Play, is that when we picked our origin, uh, the origin, and you'll see it on the screen right now, actually takes away the guaranteed habitable worlds. So I was talking about, oh, I don't see them, where are they, what the heck? Yeah, we picked the origin that is going to take those away. So... On one hand, that's unfortunate because we don't get those guaranteed habitable worlds. On the other hand, it does give our starting planet of Earth a kick butt number of districts. We get additional growth, resource production, all that stuff. So happy to have that. But yeah, again, you guys pointed it out multiple times. Yeah, I, I overlooked that when we started this Let's Play. So I think the answer is to hold off from what you guys were saying in the comments on this. And we are going to try, we're going to attempt to rush terraforming. That's what we are going to try to do uh, in this Let's Play so that we can get this guy terraformed, we can get that guy terraformed, and we can get anything else that we run into terraformed as well. I have a feeling that we're gonna be going to war with, uh, who in the heck is this? The Triac United Nations at some point, because there's this nice, juicy ocean world over here with 100% habitability, but we'll cross that bridge Probably a little bit down the line, uh, but we'll kind of see what happens. But without further ado, let's go ahead and unpause and get the game rolling. Um, science ships are out sciencing. At some point, I do need to turn them around and get the anomalies that are left in here, which is quite a few, actually. It's quite a few. I don't want to train a new scientist to do those. I'd rather bring my higher level folks back. Unfortunately, you're not going to be able to get back, at least until we find a route that connects up here, potentially. So we'll have to wait until maybe they get caught up in another uh, Empire's territory, and at that point have them go back. What do we finish? Ah, monthly unity. Admin cap plus five. Uh, that's routine. Yeah, we're picking up signs coming from somewhere within the interior of the asteroid. Here, go for it. In clinics, da, 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 da. farming subsidies. I mean, I don't think we need the admin cap at this point. Food isn't an issue. You know what? Let's go ahead and go with that. that that'll be fine. All right. We are into our next, which is Polytechnic Education. Uh, more leadership experience game. And what you guys were saying is the first ascension perk we need to take. I believe you said it was hydrocentric. Yeah, ocean terraforming cost minus 25%, allows the construction of ice mining stations on star bases, which enable the expand planetary sea decision on ocean worlds. All right. Uh, 50% greater benefit from living on ocean worlds. So in order to actually do this, I have to have terrestrial sculpting. And that's it. Okay. I think that was the one you guys said we should be going for. Yeah, that's that's definitely the one. Uh, Asteroid Fauna. Amazingly well conducting the survey of DTLF-111. The crew of the ISS Bootleg Boots... Bootleg's Boot. Mm. Picked up several life signs coming from within the asteroid. Interesting. Close out of that. Okay, we did get this science ship down here. Ooh, yes, please. Give me those mining stations. Uh, so you are going to be exploring down this way. I will pr well, maybe. Actually, you know what you should do? Survey that, then survey that, then come down here and start doing this. There we go. At some point, I'll probably try to run a construction ship past this, like I did a science ship in the last episode. Um, I don't know... That'll be at this point. Hey, our frontline stations got finished. Okay, let's beef these guys up. Okay. Uh, do we go gun or do we go missile? Hmm. We don't have fighters yet. 
just go with a mix. Right, we'll build you up. We'll we'll save up on the alloys, uh, and then we'll build you up. I have you head up here because I want to start claiming out this way. I want to get up here to this engineering uh, and that. All right, you survey that for me. And that's all completely cut off, so we can come back and survey that later. Um, stranded scientist. The wreckage on the asteroid J31XR1 is the remains of a vessel belonging to a now stranded scientist, Shabal, identifying herself as belonging to the Ithir2 known Quinty species. From amidst the wreckage, she somehow managed to combat Peg Leg Barley. <laughs> that Barley or Barty? Barty? I think that's Barty. Uh, the science officer is stationed aboard the ISS Bootleg's boot and is requesting to be rescued. She explains that her collision was due to malfunctioning navigation sensors and that she has been unable to leave the asteroid for several years. She claims her scientific knowledge to be without equal and that she would be a valuable asset. She points to her survival as proof of that. Uh, joins Republic of Porpoises. Share her technological knowledge. 50% chance of Peggy Barty gains the adaptable trait. 50% chance the paranoid. Oof. Nope, let's just take him. Oh, so, okay, it's a human. Ooh, oh, ooh, has spark of genius. Whoa, hey, whoa, hey, whoa, hey. Um, okay, let's let's swap somebody out. Actually, you? Yeah, let's let's swap you out. That's fine. All right, shared knowledge. This is from getting that scientist. The recent scientist, Shabal, has put her knowledge of technology to use. Her shared insights have pushed our physics research to new heights. Research into technology, or, okay. Oh. Nice. Uh, we get synchronized defenses. And we get subspace sensors. Oh. Oh, awesome. We get two techs out of that. Sweet. Although I'm sure the dolphins look at her very, very weird, and the fact that she has to put her research station above water uh, rather than the ocean is is probably greatly disturbing uh, to the rest of the scientists. Uh, routine, da 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 da. Sure, let's let's research those when we can. Ooh, hello. Arctic, meh. Gaia. There you go. You you are headed up there. You. We're gonna chill here. I think that's fine. Whew. A decent system down there. Underworld. Ocean and ooh, Ocean Twenty One and a Savannah. Yeah, we need to get into terraforming. Uh, especially because they've got all the new mechanics in this update with it that we can uh, we can explore. One other thing I did want to do uh, is I did want to update our ship design. Um, we want to get out of the picket ship for our Corvettes. I think I don't think we want to go missile boat because I think all the other empires or vets default to picket so they're gonna have point defense so I think we just want to go to interceptor uh oh I need to that auto complete let's auto generate best designs um oh no no that's not what I want I want auto upgrade one there we go alright Let's trash you. Okay, uh, don't count your planets. Our scientists have discovered something rather monstrous. The mountain range that they... Mountain range they scanned earlier was in actually the outer membrane of a gigantic egg. It's uncertain what behemoth could lay such an egg and what horror would hatch from it. Uh, crack that some bitch open. I don't even know what system that was in. Already got that. Um, what did we finish? Ah, minerals from miners. Nice. More hit points for our Corvettes. I don't think we want to do that yet. Plus, it is 3,000 research. Could get afterburners. Build speed, army down. Yeah. Let's get the afterburners. Love's labor lost. Having decrypted the signal, Merciful John was astonished to discover it was broadcasting an archaic form of one of the main dolphin languages. Speaking in these vows and whence forth. Mm. It appears to be reaching one of the lost reciting one of the lost works of Angler Edward, a renowned dolphin playwright who lived some six hundred years ago. <laughs> it appears that the broadcasting device, a simple satellite dish, 
protected by a small shelter, is the only non-natural structure on the moon. There is no hint as to who left it there or why, but going by the wear and tear of the evidence, it must have been there since long- oh, wow, I missed that- since shortly after the play was first written, long before dolphins learned the secret of space travel. We can only assume it was left there by ancient visitors to Earth, who took a liking to the play and decided to pay our species a strange and unexpected tribute news disseminate the recording across the nation a gift we must find a way to thank our mysterious benefactors unifile ethics attraction isn't pop happiness um i'll take the unity that's fine lovely contact let's get you yes let's get you accept and go way down there all right you're going to keep going. Uh, you've got 409 more days. Oh, that's going to take forever. All right. Go ahead and. Ah, we got to wait on the alloys. Okay. I was say, let's get a star base built there so we can start working our way up this way. Um, you're literally doing nothing. That connects up. So I'm actually going to send you. Contact. Good, good, good. Let's check on this. We've got somebody over here, A, building up a spy network, and B, making sure they like us more. Uh, anomaly, routine. Yeah, let's go for it. Okay, we're up to 24 infiltration level. Relative encryption is routine. Acquire an asset requires me to be at 30. So we'll come back to this here in a bit. Because we'll want to grab an asset. Um, and we'll want to get some other stuff running over here. Alright, encounter. Another one. Ew. Is that not the... Okay, it is different. Alright. Let's go. Let's get those first encounters going. Alright, we're up to plus 17 food. That's good. Uh, we will need to, uh, what do we want to go with next? Uh, easy out, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's pause for just a moment here. I go with an alloy foundry. We get two additional metallurgist jobs. 12 into 8. Yeah, we've got plenty of minerals to do that. Mm. Don't know if that's the route we want to go. I mean, that's the one way we're going to get alloys going. If we're going to be only sitting on one planet. So, I think we have to. Uh, mysterious spacefarers. Keep at it. Only seven difficulty. That's not bad. All right, where are we at over here? Twenty six. All right. That's what going up one a month. Oh no, daily progress plus. Okay. Oh, somebody. Oh, it's every couple months. Oh. Hmm. All right, social experiment. Uh, a small asteroid colony was found floating just above the atmosphere in Kepler One. It appears to have been self sufficient. And uh, remains from several different species were found on board. Intriguing. And we get a boatload of science. All right. Big and testy. Upon entering. Stop it. Uh, upon entering Candaris, our sensors picked up strange readings. Dismissed at that first. Dismissed at first as glorified asteroids. Things quickly changed when it became discovered that these entities reacted aggressively to movement in space. Give it up. Wreckage identified. Above the aboard the ISS bootleg boot report that the Navi shipwreck appears to have been the result of an unexpected geomagnetic solar storm. Ah, oh, it's a triac design. So the metals belong to the triac. We're all friends, right? Ooh, but we get plus ten intel. Uh, let's. Uh, 
let's not risk the altercation. We're we're semi role playing this. We're we're not aggressive, right? We're we're nice. We're we we want to be friends. Yeah, we want to be friends. Okay, let's grab this. Um, now, unfortunately, pause here for a moment. Excuse me. In order to grab hydrocentric, we do have to get terrestrial sculpting. Sculpting, not sculpting, sculpting. We don't have it. So, well, I'd love to grab that first. Unfortunately, we don't have the tech for it. I don't think we're going to just sit on this. What I do think we're going to go is technological ascendancy. Boost our tech research. Hopefully then get us to uh, terrestrial sculpting that much quicker. And we'll grab hydrocentric as soon as we possibly can once we get that tech. But I think the easy thing to start off with here is going to be the ascendancy. We've already got plenty of envoys. Yeah, let's go with the ascendancy. That's fine. Get a nice little boost. All right, that works. Go. Ooh. Wreckage cargo return. Dolphins, we've received word of our downed supply ship's cargo. We would like to extend our gratitude. Get 100 influence. Nice. Hey, and we get a favor. Because again, we don't want to fight, right? Yeah, we don't want to fight. A diplomatic weight of 278 or 265. All right, so we're, we're running pretty even as far as diplomatic weight goes. Okay, space me buzz. Uh, the entities encountered by our fleets some time ago are space. Oh God, what did I do? Oh God. Oh, oh, he did. <laughs> he, he did. Um, Ask any creatures, uh, study them. Space me but study. Let's learn to coexist. God. Lives again, it lives. We're nothing but insignificant specks compared to such a creature. <laughs> um, was that here? I think so. Last transmission of the Isis Prosperous cuts off there. And when we lose our probes, the scan remains at Brook 2. Yeah. Uh, we find a hollow shell. It seems the creature had little gratitude to show its liberations. <laughs> oh no. I wish I could see it here. Damn. Oh, that's funny. I don't know what I released, but that's hilarious. Okay. First contact finished. All right. Yeah, that's that's unfortunate. <laughs> All right, fine. Uh, let's get another science up. Science ship up. We do have a free scientist, I believe. Yeah, so we'll get another one out there. Uh, and in fact, what level were you? You're level three. We can start having you do anomalies. Arctic world, meh. <laughs> All right. Oh, I think we have to go alloy foundry here. I want to get up above that 14. Yeah, go for it. <clears throat> go for it. That's what we're going to do. Farming subsidies is done. Let's get the society boost. Uh oh. Ultus Marauders encountered. All the way down there, really? Oh no, I. I never set you back to be passive. Yeah, you're screwed, buddy. Shoot. Well, we keep losing scientists left and right. Um, all right, get in there. I don't think I'm gonna send you down here because we know this is a dead end. So we'll we'll leave that be. Go ahead and come survey that for now. And then I'm actually gonna have you loot back and start doing some of these anomalies. All right, alien writing. 
Fascinating. Man, two scientists in literally like two or three months worth of time in game. Oof. I, I still don't think it's worth it. I, I think we're going to rush. I think we're going to rush terraforming if we can. Uh, and yeah. So uh, what's your maintenance? Part of me wants to disband this. I don't get anything back. Off. You know what? Leave it. They're fine sitting there. No worries. Um, I think we're going to rush um, terraforming. And then I also think we're going to try to quickly get into habitats. Uh, I think that would work with uh, the role play of, hey, we can't find a planet that's uh, got oceans for us. Let's just build our habitats. Um, routine. Yeah, go for it. Zeta aliens, light displays. The more we learn about Zeta aliens, the more puzzled our researchers are. Although they are evidently intelligent beings, their transitions are like nothing we've ever seen before. We will have to persevere. Show you some extra funding will help. Fine, I'll pay the cash. I'll pay the cash. Just, just do it. Just do it. We're picking that up. You are nearly done. About 80 days. Hopefully we find somebody over here we can be friends with. I mean, that's, that'd be the ideal scenario. Yeah, you're on four planets now. You've colonized that ocean world. I know. Unknown origin. The tropical. Well, I'd love to get down here and get this. There's no way in hell we're getting past that, though. At least in the short term. Okay. We can upgrade these guys now. Upgrade it. That's fine. Ultra burners are done. We'll have to wait on these fusion reactors to build them onto our ships, though. So we'll do that. Uh, mining subsidies. Basic strike. Ooh. Anger base. Forgot that these things give um, ship hull points and ship armor hit points. A little bit of a boost as well. Forgot about that. Uh, you know what? Let's go with the planetary build speed, actually. Since we're working on one planet here, we'll, we'll want to get that going. And pausing would, uh, would be beneficial. Any progress? Uh, our linguists have recently made significant progress towards decoding the language using the signals from Zeta aliens. Uh, solid grasp fundamentals. Keep at it. Do you like me? Do you dislike me? You're receptive. You're technologically inferior. I would bet fleet power wise, you might be a bit stronger than us. I was really hoping there'd be something cool back here. I really was. But instead, no. You just get two credits. <laughs> like, that's it. All for you. That's it. Ugh. All right. Build that. Thank you. What we could do. Once we get all of this, I think a station in Zunur might be worth it. Why do I say that? Because trade over here, there's trade here, there's trade here, and there's trade here. Nice central, we get two trade trade hubs on here, and we can pick all that up. Um, Level three, you know what, leave that for now. Hey, Habitable World Survey is complete. Get a boatload of research out of it. Beyond the light barrier, our efforts have paid off. And now we are able to understand the light signals given off by the Zeta aliens and communicate with them. Fascinating. Natic egalitarians. Pacifists. Well met, friends. We are the allied Eusenance states, a nation built on the principles of peaceful coexistence and individual freedoms. Nice. We are delighted to meet you. Or down here, okay. Ooh, oh, I forgot about this. I want to establish an embassy. From that. 
Um, oh, they want. There you go. All right, I should establish an embassy. They don't want to. They have 28. Damn, I probably had an opportunity to do that, and I missed out on it. That's unfortunate. Okay. Um. Let's. Do I want to improve relations at this point? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. From a roleplay perspective, I think we want to send twice hanged Hendrik because that sends a beautiful message. Sends a beautiful message. Okay. Uh, fusion reactors are done. We can upgrade those ships now. Survey speed, automatic surveying. Yeah, let's go for it. That's fine. And that just finished, which we were looking at. Good, good, good. We're up to plus 22 alloys per month. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. All right, let's go to the ship designer. It should have automatically upgraded. A tier three cent. Ooh. All right. We've got that in there. We've got plenty of power. If I go back to this. Yeah, we're short. Okay. All right, that's fine. We'll get that on there. We're going to have a speed boost on here. Has been Finders keepers. A particularly observant operative in the Triac United Nations has laid their grappling fins on part of a Triac encryption key. Ooh. Um, so we get given following plus one code breaking. We are up to 30. Um, let's see if we can acquire an asset. Launch that puppy. Let's get an asset so anything else we run uh, can be run a little bit easier. Hello, boys. How are you? Neutral relations plus 60. Last month changed by plus two. Okay. You know what? My network. While we want to be friends, uh, we're also dolphins and we're also very, very intelligent. Therefore, we're going to spy on you. I want to burn any influence on this. What have we here? Oh, I really want a leader of chance <laughs> of Slippery Williams. That's fine. Uh, we won't support anybody. We'll, we'll be okay. Um, leave it. That's fine. I mean, once we get to terraforming, my goodness, we got a lot of options. A lot of options. Uh, while conducting surface scans of Throth, Thoth, 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 um, <laughs> four, science officer Slippery John and the crew of the ISS Locker Buster. It's an amazing name, the Locker Buster. Uh, discovered what appears to be an artificially carved slab of rock covered in alien writing. There is new information in the Fascinating. All right. Boost to research. We're about at admin cap. Sure. Why not? Who got elected? Re-elected our current ruler, Slippery Williams. Lovely. Um. Build more mining. Okay. You know what? Let's research that really quickly. What are we doing on physics? Just survey speed. Yeah, let's let's do the yeah, let's do that. Confidence wavers. A group of auxiliary operatives in the Triac United Nations has begun shying away from their assigned task, citing a lack of confidence in the overall purpose. Eh, purpose, porpoise, eh, whatever. Spymaster Crazy Robert would typically handle such matters without bringing them to our attention. But even without them knowing in any details, these operatives seem unusually well informed about Operation Acquire Asset and perhaps the spy network as a whole. If these auxiliaries are kept isolated from our more active and better informed agents, Crazy Robert suspects the operatives are being fed information from an outside source. He also concedes they may be simply be highly perceptive individuals. Hmm. Let's see where they lead. Damn, we got panicked. Okay. 
Auxiliary operatives in the Triad United Nations have reacted with horror upon learning the truth of their once intangible suspicions. Versus. Crap. Crap, crap, crap. Uh, okay, so what is our story so far? Well, we have reached out into the void. Unfortunately, um, our, our home world is so perfect for us that we have been unable to find any other worlds that suit our precise, precise needs. And so therefore we are, well, we, we know the technology exists. We think the technology exists to where we could terraform a planet and make it what we want. So that's what we are looking for. And oh, we crap. There's cons there's research right here. Let's go grab that. Uh, so far, we've met a couple empires. We met the Triac United Nations, who we'd like to be our friend, but but they're probably not. But we're trying to be friendly. We're trying to be friendly. Uh, the allied Usenet states, I think, could be our friend. They could be our friend. Um, let's form a non-aggression pact with these guys. They're nowhere near us, but you know what? Let's make them like us. And that's kind of where we stand right now. Uh, we've had cultists that we've had to fight. Um, we've lost scientists to something up here. But yeah, that's where we're at. Let me know, guys, what are our next steps? Leave that down in the comments. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you have enjoyed. As always, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Stellaris and sci-fi gaming fun. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Later, everybody.